Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be opening up some, to me, mystery boxes. I've had two viewers, I have wonderful viewers, you guys just make me feel so appreciated and loved, but two viewers sent me some boxes of, I'm guessing, stuffed animals. Hannah has sent a box to me before and then she contacted me and asked if she could send me another one, so of course, right? Um, Hannah is also, if you're in like the live show, she's always on there. And in fact, she's going to be making a guest appearance, um, but it'll probably be after this video. But she is Patchwork Vintage Company. I'd like to point something out. What? That it won't be after this video. It'll probably be before this video is released. Oh, truth. Yeah. Again. You will have already seen Hannah on the video, on, exactly. on, on the live, by the time you see this video. Yes. So, Hannah sent me this big box, and then I have two more boxes down here, and they came from a viewer named Darlene, um, who reached out to me and asked if she could send me stuff, so this is exciting, you know? I love mystery boxes. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this first box opened. Hannah's been waiting patiently for me to get this open. So I'm going to go ahead and get her going. So she was from Patchwork Vintage? Patchwork Vintage. I couldn't remember if you did or Company, not because yes. I, was, I was ignoring you a bunch, so I'm not sure yeah. if you said it or not. I did. And y'all, we went yard selling today. Amazing amazing finds today including something i paid 50 cents for gonna list probably 120 150 um another toy if it had been in better condition was uh, be about the same value so i'll probably list it about 50 found some very old fisher price little people so yeah we we had I had a list of places I wanted to go, and we just kept finding other places also on the way, and we just kept buying and buying and buying, so. Good times were had. Good times. All right, here we go, Hannah. Save this kind of stuff. This is what I put, like, flimsy books and needle craft kits. This is what we use that for that. And then shove it in a poly mailer. Shove it in a bubble or a poly yeah. mailer. All right, here we go. Snoopy, love Snoopy. And he's interesting. He's dressed up as something. Look at him. I'm not quite sure, I can't make up my mind. Google abominable, Lens will help me. Abominable snowman or something. Oh, oh look wow. at his feet. Oh, he's got, oh, I'm thinking llama or alpaca. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Another little plush. Let's see. It says Wolverine Corporation. I've listed something else that was Wolverine. I'm not quite sure who. Cute. Look. This looks like Jeffrey. Oh, yes. Toys R Us. A big old Jeffrey. Look how cute. I think, yep, he's the posable one. I've had him before. Excellent. I'm not even... This is probably like, I don't know, 12 to $15. All right. More Snoopies. Lots of Littles. Love Littles. Because they fit right down into either a Bubble Miller or a Polly. Oop, Dandy. Excellent. Snoopy. Hi. I usually make small lots of them or I may bag them and put them over in my booth. Here's another tie. Ooh, I see other stuff. Cute. This is, I think this is the Dollar Tree. Another tie, the giraffe. You know, even without the paper tags, a lot of times these are still okay. I like to list them on Facebook Marketplace. Lots of littles. This is cute. I think this is, yeah, the Nom Noms. I usually make small lots with them. They, 
have a scent to them. I think this looks like it is. No, yep, Dollar General. I do well. Dollar General, some of them do well. Walgreens, CVS, all of them. Love this. This is Cuddle Barn. Cute pig. these a couple of times. These are the Fisher Price Talk to Me books. There is a little reader that you use. They have like a record on each of the pages. Very cute. You know one of these is going to end up on the wall. But a lot of times you can sell these in lots um, and the, somebody who already has the reader will want to fill it in. I have a feeling this a lot of times at the Halloween type stuff does really well and then Merry Christmas the night before Christmas so very good but yeah I might have to figure out a way to put one up there a lot more littles oh, of course I have to look at the rabbit I think this is Kelly toy yes how cute is that Again, a lot of these are going to be bread and butter, or if I put them in lots, then, you know, it'll still be like $7.95, $9.95. This is cute. Wild Republic. Oh, it's one of the wrist straps. Usually, if I have another one, I may go ahead and put it with it. This is Aurora. Very cute. Look how little. And then, nope, not Ty, but a Minion. He's cute. There we go. We're getting into some big stuff. Wow, this almost looks unipack. How cute is that? Look, it's a backpack. Again, I'm thinking like $10 to $12 for it. How cute. And it still has its tags. I see a treasure. I talk about veggie tales. Some of them do really well. Some of the more obscure, like Madam Blueberry, and there's a few other that do better than some of, like him. This is Junior Asparagus. But definitely keep your eyes out for most things, veggie tales, because they still, they're not, I don't know if they're releasing them anymore. So the, especially the plush and the character toys do really well for me. I have a couple of little vinyl things that I have listed for like over $25. But this one's made by Gund. Love VeggieTales. But also watch for Yo Gabba Gabba, Rubber Dubbers, Wah Wah Wubsy. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this one before, but Super Y. Anything you find that's Super Y is a the biggest bolo of probably most of them. Wow. This says the original Squishmallow. How cute is that? It says Yasmin. Cute, cute, cute. It's probably one of the, the eight inch size plush. All right, lots of littles. Oh, I think I, I have, I think a Dalmatian and maybe another one. This is Hug Fun. I do believe Walmart put these out, but love that. Oops, I see. It's funny, I have one of these listed already. I don't think mine has tags, so I'll make this its own separate listing. Oh, and I don't think I had this. There are, as you can see, things that are Velcroed to it. So he's got an umbrella, the cake, the book. Very cute. I don't know if I've ever had one that was had everything complete, but I usually still list them like $7.95, $9.95. This is TB Trading Company. Love all the dogs. I tend to do really well with dogs and cats. Especially if you can come up with the breed. Sharpay. I'm thinking Sharpay on this one. Cute. Probably still like $12 to $15. This is Russ. Love Russ. Oh no, actually it says Harvest Moon. I've had one of these too. Tag looks identical to Russ. 
Makes me wonder if it still is a part of that company. But sparkly, pastel colors, all those types of keywords. I'm thinking like 10 to $15 for it. Oh, here we've got a tie. Beanie Boo, he does have his paper tag. Excellent. This looks tie, but I know it's not. This is, I want to say it's Zangine or something like that. There's a Z on here. I could be totally mis, mis speaking. But I think it's like Zangine or something like that. But very cute. It too has like the shiny ears and sparkly eyes. Cute. I usually find those, the ones with the Z tag like that, but they're small beans, like six inches. Oh. Not Jeffrey, but it says Brian's Toys. Huh. Very cute though. When you have something like this with the floppy neck, a lot of times if you start squeezing and push some of the stuffing up into it, it goes right back to normal. Excellent. All right, got a bunch of littles again. Oh, love Paddington. This one is an Eden. Probably like eight to $10 for it. He is missing his outfit, but that's okay. This is Cole's Cares, has its tag. Again, probably, I don't know, maybe about $10 or so for her. The fact that she has her tags and stuff, um, it may bump it up a few dollars. I keep picking up the littles and then I see a big one that catches my attention. These are called Hasbro Softies. I think there's a Minnie Mouse one also. But look, he's in excellent condition. Still has his little bib there. I think they're from like, it says Disney characters. Oh, don't have my glasses. I cannot see that. Hand it over here. I'll look for you. It's either 64 or 84. Not quite sure. What are you seeing? He's got his glasses. Eighty-four. Eighty-four. I didn't think sixty-four sounded right. All right, dandy, cute dog, bunny ears. I tend to do really well with them. At least they sell quickly. How about that? This is Walmart. It's got one of more of the the older tags. Cute with the little heart pillow. This is looks like Hug Fun, but nope, Walmart. Tie dyed rainbow colors nice this says cow toy oh, happy valentine's day he's got the sparkly nose and the heart going on probably again most of these are going to be my bread and butters there may be a few that are going to be like five or six dollars and then a lot of them that are going to probably get listed 7.95 9.95 which i'm fine i may already have one of these or something similar to it I know there was a big, there was a plush that was similar to this that got all kinds of attention recently, but I don't think this one's it. I think it was a donut or something, but this one says you're very sweet. And Hannah, you were very sweet to send this to me. Oh, I see baby stuff. Okay, now I gotta get the baby stuff before I get the rest. This is the Barrington Collection. And look, Jelly Cat. I think I have one of these listed or something like it with the rattle and the ring. And then this one says Play Grow. This is vintage. This one intrigues me because it's terry cloth. So you know, it could be something I list for $9.95 or it could be something like it's like $29.95 just because I'm not sure if you can still get Play Grow. Very cute. All right, and then I. Some more littles, which is funny. Let me show you guys these. I have a pile of these. These are the mini flip -a zoos over there waiting for more to go with it. 
I have some of these over there, the little Thai minis, waiting for more to go with it. This is vintage Mickey Mouse. I think this went to that Christmas Carol series. Very cute. Good condition. I may put this with the other one because it's not Thai either and just make a small lot of minions. And then, oh, this is Great Wolf Lodge, but it's a Thai also. I just sold some of the wolves. Definitely keep your eyes open for the wolves that are from the Great Wolf Lodge. I think I sold them for like $30 for two of them. And then another Beanie Boo. So, lots of littles for me to work on. Oh wait, one more. This is Wishbone. So this is cute. If I can find a book or something else to go with it, I may put that with it. But otherwise, it may just get listed all by itself. Again, probably $7.95, $9.95, something in there. All right. Yay. Thank you, Hannah. And now I have two boxes that came from Darlene. Y'all, just, I so appreciate it. Ooh, look out. Oh, ooh, very cute. Definitely vintage. Commonwealth. No date. I pick these up anytime and every time. Love the Commonwealth plush. Very cute. Nice, dark, two toned. Cute. Love it. Oh. These are escaping me. This is Thai, but they're called something. Can't remember. These are bolos, for sure. There was a time when I found them all the time, and now I hardly ever find them. I can't remember. I'm going to have Robert Google lens him because that's bothering me that I can't remember what they're called. Because you, I don't see them very often. Now this, yes, Dandy. If I had, I may have this listed already, or one that's similar to it, because the the flannel felt belly um, caught my attention. Very cute, probably like twelve to fifteen dollars again. What are they called? And it'll be like bunny baby or something like that. You can't I'm find looking. it. Oh, he's looking. Another, you know me, I love my rabbits. This is Kelly Toy. Love that it has the plaid ears. Just very cute. Love it. It says hippo baby. Yeah, it's always like, but they're called something. Not maybe pillow pals, pillow pets, baby something. That's bugging me that I can't remember. All right. This is intriguing. I have never seen... It says, My Minky Company. I have never seen one of these. But look, it doesn't have eyes. But you can tell that's how it is. I have no clue. Because I have never seen anything from My Minky Company. Let me see if I can show you guys. Are they seeing the tag? Yeah. Very cute. For some of these, if I can find comps for it, of course, I'll have comps one way or the other. Otherwise, you know, I'll show you a copy of my listing on stuff that I've never seen like that before. This is Gund, oh, Grumpy Cat. Definitely, I pick these up when I can. I don't find them very often again. I think, you know, he was popular for a while, and then, you know, he's just kind of, they don't make these anymore. Cute. This is Dan D. Very cute. I love this. Again, I've not seen a whole lot of these, which is kind of odd because I've been doing this 23 years. But cute. I have no clue on the value of that. Oh, wait, <coughs> wait, there was stuff in the bottom. Yay! 
these are good. This is good right here. These are Blue's Clues. And it looks like they were like the tub toys. But it's, it looks like it might be a complete set. Slippery Soap, Salt and Pepper, Blue, Tickety Talk, and I think this was Paprika. How cute is that? Love them. It may be something I list together, but if there's comps showing that they sell separately and, you know, somebody wants to fill in, then that's how I'll do it also. Oh. I'm just saying, oh, put them over oh, there because yeah. I don't have a good space for them. All right, I'm going to have to pick this one up. Yay. Oh, already. You caught my attention. Y'all know I love the pastel multicolored bears. This one is Aurora Baby. Very cute. I'm thinking 20-ish, if not more, on it. Very cute. This is the Heritage Collection by Gons Brothers. Yes, I know some people call it Gans. I'm going to call it Gons. This is the African Elephant. It's dated 1992. Look how cute. I love this. Excellent. I'm thinking 15 to 20 on it. Here goes all the Oz. This is cute. Oh, this is a set. Kelly Toy. Knit. Lamb. The blue stripes. But it has the rattle ring and the lovey. So that's excellent. Usually I don't see them all three together. Um, you know, it'll be picking up one or the other or the other. So that's nice. All right, this is, again, Wild Republic, Lion, probably Mama. Very cute. I like um, Wild Republic. Sometimes they're also K&M Enterprise. This is, of course, My Little Pony. This is one of the Bath Pets. It's kind of that nylon material. She is from, this is Soki Doki from 2005. I'm thinking again, probably eight to twelve dollars for it. But again, I could be wrong. All of these are all new to me. This says incredible petables. New to me. Again, cute rabbit. Got the stand up ears. How cute. Adorable. Probably still eight to twelve dollars. Now you know. Coles Cares. Love them. Dr. Seuss. Horton Hears the Who. Very cute. I'm thinking like $8 to $12 for it also. This is a big... Oh, this is a Moshi. But usually when I see Moshi, it's that... Um, like not, not nylon, but they've got the micro beads in them. And it's that smooth fabric. But this is like a regular plush. But it does say Moshi on the tush tag right here. And yeah, and it's Brentwood Originals. Very cute. But again, I've not seen one of these. It's called the Furry Plumpies. This, oh, at first I thought this was Boyd's, but this is Tide. But look how big it is. Normally... I'm, I'm assuming this might be one of the attic treasures, although I'm not seeing that on the tag. It's saying 1993. Oh, yeah, here. The Thai attic treasures. How cute. I've not seen one this big before. Excellent. All right, this is Swaddle Me. This is one of the crib plush um, that you put in with when you have a newborn and it, usually they either play lullabies or they do the, the, the heartbeat. I haven't picked these up in quite a while, so I'm not quite sure what the going rate is. I'm assuming it's like in my bread and butter, like eight to $12, but very cute. I see Barney. 
Yep, and his eyes are in nice condition. He, me and my glasses, I took them off upstairs. 1992. A lot of these bodies, unless you get like the first one, which sells for big bucks, a lot of these are like eight to twelve dollars. This one's cute. This, yep, this looks like a build a bear. It's got the the rainbow colors, the peace sign. Very cute. I think I've had one similar to this. Usually, my build build a bears are like the eight to twelve dollars. I forget what these are called. This one's called Giggles. These are by Goldberger. And it's got the little thing. Oops. Yes, I had to squeeze it. Sounds like she needs new batteries, but it does work. I think these are like, I don't know. I want to say like 6 to $10 for them, but I might be surprised. Uh-oh. I've only got a few left in here, and of course they were on the edge that was about to fall. These, this is a cute little pink poodle. It says, oh, Tweaky. Now, I've sold a little Tweaky recently in the last few months, and I think I've figured out that it, it's, it's popular. It's definitely a bolo. We'll just have to see when I look this up again. My mind could be failing me, but I remember Tweaky, and mine was little, and I, I sold it for, I don't know, 10 or $15 for a little one, so. And this one's in excellent condition. Last two. Definitely, this is Boyd's Bear. Funny, I have another one sitting over here waiting for a match that I can do like $9.95 or $12.95. So I'll add that to it and hopefully get that one listed. And then this, I'm not seeing a tag, but it's intriguing to me. It's just got, like, the face is a different than, like, the sides. He's in a little hunting attire. But I'm, oh, down here, of course, it's Russ. His name is Buck. Usually these older, these, these, a lot of times you'll see the names on the tags, but not always. I think at some point they either stopped doing it or they started doing it. But very cute. All right. So thank you so, so much, Darlene and Hannah. I so appreciate you guys. Between the gifts and the super chats and the super, what's the other one called? Super stickers. Super stickers. And then just the, every time we do a live, somebody sends me money. You guys, just, it makes me happy. Especially the comments, too, where, you know, you tell, I've had more today, you know, because I mentioned something. They just took the time to stop and look at a plush, found out it was vintage, found out it was bolo, and it's already sold for way more money than they ever thought. It's just, it's funny when people finally say, I didn't realize just how much money you can make selling stuffed animals. And I do. Today I found several, several bolos that I can't wait to get the video made so that I can go ahead and get it processed. Because I try, I don't show you guys everything that we buy. Some of it's blah, like the clothes. Um, but I try to show you at least a lot of it so that you get in your mind some of the brands that I'm picking up and, you know, especially when I'm doing my Watts Sold so that you actually see that this stuff is selling. All right. Thanks. Bye.